You can get a parasite, for example, if you swim in a lake that has a trematode that caused swimmer's itch. And so if you've ever gone into a lake and then later had all of these spots on your legs that just itched like crazy, that was a trematode that was looking for a bird but accidentally ended up in your leg. And it died, and that, that itching is your immune system trying to get rid of the trematode. So in the United States, that's one way that you can get a parasite. And another parasite that you can get if you live in the United States, particularly in the southern part of the United States, is hookworm. So this is a parasite that is able to burrow through your skin, and then it takes a long journey through your body, and it ends up producing eggs in your guts. And when humans defecate, the eggs get back into the environment, and if there isn't good sanitation, those eggs get out into the environment, and then you can get infected. So when those eggs hatch, a tiny little nematode comes out of there, and it can move up to six feet away from the eggs. And so you may not necessarily see feces and think, you know, oh, I should avoid that. The parasite could be as far as six feet away. You might not even see the feces. And if you're walking barefoot, or maybe you're kneeling on the ground because you're gardening, then you can get infected by this parasite. And one or two of this parasite isn't super bad, but if you have a lot of them, uh, what they feed on essentially is your blood, and so they can suck a lot of nutrients out, and then you can end up having trouble with malnutrition, and that can result in uh, lower IQs because it's harder to study and focus in school. So this can be a major parasite that's a problem in the southern United States when it reaches high densities, and that particularly happens in areas where sanitation isn't particularly good.